Ekaterina Andropova. This is me. Good morning. I am Manuel Vega. I am a USCIS Immigration Services Officer, and I will interview you today. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Please, follow me. I'll just get my things. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, too. Glad it's Friday. Did you have any difficulty finding our office this morning, Miss Andropova? Oh, no, not at all. I have been here before. That's good, because it's raining so bad, and the traffic gets even worse than usual when it rains. Oh, yes. That's the problem with the weather in Houston. We go weeks without rain, and then it rains so hard, we flood. Well, we definitely need the rain. Yes, that's true. Please, come in. Oh, thank you. Uh, would you like to hang up your coat? Yes, thank you. Uh, you can hang it right there. Okay. Oh, where would you like me to put my umbrella? Oh, yes. Uh, you can put it right there. Oh. Thank you. Before we begin, I need you to take a note. Can you raise your right hand? Do you swear that you are going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Please, have a seat. Thank you. May I see your uh, passport, permanent resident card, and your photos, please? Thank you. And you understand what we are doing here today, Miss Andropova? Yes. You are going to interview me to see if I am ready to become, become an American citizen. And are you? Oh, yes, I am. You definitely seem excited. Uh, let me ask you, why do you want to become an American citizen? Because I love this country. It means a lot to me. America means to me freedom to pursue my dreams. Well, that's a good reason to become a citizen. All right, uh, let's get started, shall we? Uh, I am going to ask you some questions based on your application. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Let's verify some personal information. What is your full legal name? My full name is Yekaterina Ivanovna Andropova. Okay, you are allowed to change your name when you become a citizen. It says here that you want to change your name. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, I would like to change my name to Catherine Yvonne because I think it sounds more American and all my friends call me Kathy anyway. Um, so I want it to be Catherine Yvonne Andropova. All right. Uh, do you understand that the change will only be final when you become naturalized by the judge? Yes, that means I'm not Catherine Yvonne until I become a citizen. That's correct. Uh, let's see, it says here that you were born in Russia, is that correct? Yes, I was born in Russia, in St. Petersburg, but it was called Leningrad at the time. Oh, I've heard that that is a beautiful city. Oh yes, it's a beautiful city with beautiful buildings and beautiful art and the famous river, the Neva, and sometimes I miss it. Well, maybe one day I will get to see it. I'm sure you will enjoy it if you go. <laughs> Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? Uh, my parents, no. They were both Russian, and they are deceased now. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you married? No, I have never been married. Do you have any children? No, I don't have any children. Uh, can you confirm your current address for me, Miss Andropova? I live in Houston. My address is 9170 South Main, Houston, Texas, 77025. What is your phone number where we can contact you? 713 Thank you. Uh, now I am going to ask you some questions to verify information on your application. Uh, Ms. Andropova, uh, it says here that you work at the University of Texas. Is that still correct? Yes, I work for the University of Texas. What do you do there? I'm a researcher. Interesting. What kind of research do you do? My research is in neurobiology. I work to understand addictions. That's very good. We need good scientists. Uh, have you always worked in that field in the United States? Yes, I have always worked to do research. Uh, I worked uh, at a different laboratory for another professor between 2004 and 2007, but always for the university. Uh, 
Can you confirm for me how many trips you have taken outside of the United States in the past five years? Excuse me, how many trips? Yes, let me see. Um, I have taken three trips home to see family, always short trips. And I went to Canada one time for a conference in 2009. And I took a vacation in the Caribbean last year. Okay, thank you. Let me ask you uh, a few general questions, Ms. Andropova. Uh, have you ever told anyone that you are a U.S. citizen? No, because I'm not an American citizen yet. <laughs> Fine. Uh, have you ever written on any documents that you are a U.S. citizen? No, I haven't. Have you ever voted in a U.S. election? No, only American citizen can vote. That's correct. Have you always paid your taxes? Yes, I have always paid my taxes. Uh, have you ever been a member of a terrorist organization? Oh dear, no. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government? Certainly not. Have you ever committed a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Do you mean other than getting a speeding ticket? Yes, I mean a serious offense. No, never. Very well, Ms. Andropova. Now I will ask you to sign the form. Uh, by signing the form, you swear that everything that you have written on this form and everything that you have told me here today is true. Please sign there. Um, and under penalty of perjury means that if I lie, I will be in trouble. Yes, indeed. And you understand that you will have to take the Oath of Allegiance? Yes, I do. Do you understand the Oath of Allegiance? Yes, I do. Um, I practice it every day in front of the mirror. <laughs> uh, will you support the U.S. Constitution? Of course, I will support the Constitution. Will you fight for the U.S. if necessary? I will defend the United States. I love this country very much. That I like to hear. Uh, so if you will just sign right here and here. Mm -hmm and also on your photos. That's all, very good job, Miss Andropova. Thank you.